Aren't you full of energy? I should be asking you why you're not. We've been waiting for a vacation forever. Were you like this all night? Uh, yeah. This is three days in a row with no school. What more can I ask for? Oh man, what am I gonna do with all that time? Is hedonism all you ever think about? This is the first chance we've had for a vacation since we got here. How are you not excited? Um... Anyway, I'll probably go home. See the folks. What about you guys? Yes, I will be most likely doing the same. I need to tell them how school has been going. Ugh, must suck being one of the duo Decim. How about you, Mai? Huh? Uh, oh, I I I'll probably go home too. Noellers? Kajun? Uh, I'm going home too. As am I. Then I guess we won't see each other until after the holidays. That'll be lonely. Sentimentality isn't like you, Makoto. Usually it's Noelle who's crying. I, I do not! You are about to cry right now. N no, I'm not! <laughs> I was only kidding. You're such a jerk! It's only three days. We'll see each other again before we know it. Yeah. Well, take care of yourselves. Noelle, you're making it sound like we're not going to see each other for a long time. It's just three days. Exactly. Plus, the sports festival is just around the corner. We gotta train, people! Oh, that reminds me. Train over the holidays! Uh... uh okay. <laughs> Alright. I should be going. I just need to finish packing up. Right. We should go before the port gets too crowded. See you in three days! I'll see you soon! Yeah, you too. Well then, shall we get going as well? Sure. You're all terrible liars. Huh? You aren't going home at all, are you? You knew? It was written all over your face. I'm your roommate, young lady. I know everything that goes on in that head of yours. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No point apologizing. I lied too, after all. What? You're staying here? That is correct. Oh, I thought you were going home. I am only doing what the rest of you are. The rest? What do you mean? <laughs> Would you like to see something interesting? Uh... Where are we going? This should be about right. There's nothing here. What is it? You'll see soon enough. Huh. Right on cue. Huh? Oh, wow. I think I packed too much. Noelle, didn't you go to the port already? M my? K Kajun? What are you doing here? We're not going home. We lied. Then you're both... Wait, you too? Uh, <laughs> I thought everybody would feel awkward if I said I was staying when they were all going home. Why didn't you say something? I thought you were all going home. I couldn't be the only person left behind. Um, Noelle? What's with all that stuff? If 
I'd left empty-handed, then you would have suspected something, right? So I thought it should look like I was going home, but I think I packed a little too much. You think? How can you even carry that? The truth is, I can't. Not anymore. I'm totally worn out. <laughs> oh jeez, how am I gonna get home? Oh, that is so like you, Noelle. Come on, we'll help. Thank you so much. Oh, wait. If we go back now, we might run into Tsubaki and Makoto on their way out. We should wait a few more minutes. I don't think that will be necessary. Wh what What are you doing here? M makoto Noellers? I could have sworn I saw you carrying a ton of luggage toward the port. What about you? I thought you were leaving on the evening ship. Kajun, does this mean... Oh, yes, it does. Do you think this means Tsubaki's here too? No, I'm afraid that in Tsubaki's case... Oh, dear. How did I know this was going to happen? Tsubaki? But... but you left before any of us! You were acting strange, so I just pretended to leave my room. You noticed? I see you every day. It's hard not to notice when something's off. Tsubaki is... well... more like me. Right. Wait! Then weren't you lying too, Tsubaki? What? Oh... yes, well, I kept quiet. I was hoping I could surprise you. So, none of us were actually planning on going home then? That means nobody had a reason to lie! Dang! I thought my cover was solid! You were actually the easiest to see through, Makoto. What? Even Noellers? You're making fun of me, aren't you? Sorry, it was just a joke. Don't get mad. I hate you. I'm going back to my room. Well, wait! Don't be mad! Tsubaki, were you really lying or not? <laughs> I wonder. Well, in any event, I think we should head back to our rooms too, don't you? It's so quiet. Indeed. This is one of the quietest nights we've had since we came here. It's actually a little scary now that all the students are gone. Oh, do you need someone to accompany you to the restroom at night? <laughs> no, no, that's not what I meant. I'm just saying that our normal is gone. Aren't you a little scared? Yes, a little. But nothing in this world can avoid change forever. Yes? Hey! I came over to play! And we brought you some food, Mai. You've got to be hungry. Whoa, thanks! Yes, without Noelle, Mai would have likely gone hungry. Very true. There's nothing quite like the death dinner. Uh, is that a compliment or an insult? Both. You're so mean, Makoto! Well, whatever she meant, this is delicious. Thank you for... for feeding me. Aww. What's that you're holding, Makoto? Oh, I almost forgot. There's something I wanted you to see! What is it? Check it out! Ta-da! Is this a map of the school? Somebody's marked parts of it. The stairs on the second floor... The cafeteria? Yep, this is actually a map of the school's seven mysteries. What are those? That sounds scary! I've heard of them. Seven strange, unexplainable stories about the Academy. They've been around for a long time. What kind of mysteries are we talking about here? Well, the most famous is the Devil's 24th Step. I might have heard of that. 
You know how all the staircases in the Academy have 23 steps, right? Yes. It's supposed to reflect the number of hierarchical cities. Oh, huh. Never knew that. Anyway, at night, they say that there are 24 steps, and anyone who steps on the extra step is dragged down to hell. But what happens then? I don't know. You're probably stuck there. Maybe you die and your soul goes to hell? Oh. <laughs> huh? Do you not like scary stories? No, no, I'm fine. I mean, that's just like an urban legend, right? Perhaps, perhaps not. The truth is that a not insignificant number of students have gone missing over the years. And they say spirits like to take shelter in older buildings. But if nobody comes back, then where does the story come from? I think somebody just made it all up. I've got an idea. How about we all go find out if it's real or not? The Devil Step? Not just that one. All of the Seven Mysteries. What? But won't the professors get mad if we sneak into school? That's the beauty of it. Usually we couldn't do this because the professors would be all over the place. But right now it's empty. No, we can't. Not even the student council is allowed in there at night. If we get caught, we'll be in a lot of trouble. Oh, you worry too much. Nobody's gonna find us. How can you be so sure? Feast your eyes on this. Are these? These are guard routes, aren't they? Yep. Each route is assigned, and I got a hold of the whole list. Once you look at it, it's easy to see where the gaps are. This is really thorough. This is amazing, Makoto. You should work for intelligence. <laughs> yes, more! Tell me how great I am. Your work is impressive, but I still can't condone breaking the rules. As a member of the student council, I can't turn a blind eye to this. Aw, aren't we roomies? You sure you can't give me this one? Absolutely not. It is the duty of the student council to ensure the safety of the students. I can't make exceptions for my friends. No. Oh. Then, Tsubaki, wouldn't you agree that it is the duty of the student council to determine if these stories are true? And if so, if they are dangerous? Uh, what? These mysteries should be investigated firsthand. And if they prove dangerous, we should enforce stricter policies. I your logic is sound, but... Exactly! Kajun's totally right! I am 100% ready to lay down my life here for the greater good of our classmates! I don't feel like your motivation is actually student safety. Yeah, it seems a little... self-serving. Hey, zip it! I have to admit I'm curious, though. Not you two. After all, we're going to be spending a lot of time here at the Academy. It would be nice to know its secrets. Besides, wouldn't it be fun for the five of us to have a secret that only we knew? <sighs> what if we find a grimoire? Like when we were cleaning up that one time. I think it might be a good idea for Remix Heart to go on this adventure. A two, Noel? <sighs> okay, fine then. But just this once. Yes! Thanks, Tsubaki! <sighs> I'm sorry, Jin. Excellent. Time for a strategy meeting! To the command center! I'm thinking... this route. How do you feel? So we'd be entering the building through this emergency exit. Yes, you've planned out a path that avoids all the guards, but... No, I can't sign off on that. What? Why? Because an emergency exit is for just that, emergencies. As such, it has a number of stronger Alarm R's Magus on it. So, while the professors might not be around, that door is much too well guarded for us to penetrate. That's the student council for you. You seem pretty interested in this, Tsubaki. Was all that good girl talk just your due diligence? Of course not! It's just one thing led to another and... and... Okay, okay, fine. What do you think is our best bet then? We should sneak in through this small hallway here. There aren't many detection Ars Magus, and it's difficult to spot from outside. I concur. Me too. 
Tsubaki's idea is better. Then that's it. We'll sneak in through the hallway. You're dismissed. Mission commences in one hour. Th that soon? Of course. You gotta strike while the iron's scalding, like the saying goes. Oh, jeez. This just got really real. Remember, all of you, this is the only time I'm gonna let this kind of behavior slide. We know, we know. We love you, Tsubaki. Oh, you're just saying that. <laughs> all right, then. Let's go. Pretty Girl Detectives Team Remix Heart, move out. Yay! Stop! Uh, don't do that! Sorry, sorry, but look over there! Huh? Does that mean someone's in there after all, or...? That's strange. Usually security doesn't actually go into the building. Maybe they changed the patrol routes because it's a long holiday? No, that's impossible. I got my intel this morning. They wouldn't have had any reason to change them between then and now. That doesn't explain why there's someone... Oh, it's gone. Yeah. It disappeared right where the classrooms are for the third years, right? I doubt a security officer would turn off their light. C could it be a thief? Maybe. But aren't there supposed to be a lot of powerful protection Ars Magus in there? Yes. Unless the thief was extremely talented, it would be impossible for them to even get inside. Then, what was that light? Could it have been one of the professors? I don't think a professor would turn off their light, either. Then, perhaps it's one of the seven mysteries. What?! One of the mysteries is about the ghost of a girl who lures her victims onto the third floor. There's only one way to find out. What?! Are you really gonna go up there?! What if it is a ghost?! What are we gonna do?! Well, we won't know if it's a ghost or not unless we go see for ourselves. Besides, if somebody has gotten into the school, that's pretty bad. Yes, you're right. Whoever this intruder might be, whatever they might want, I cannot ignore them. If it's a thief, then we've got to catch him. Good. We all seem to agree. Shall we proceed? Come on, Noel, you're falling behind. Oh, okay. Whoa, it's a lot darker in there than I thought. Watch your step, guys. Uh, aren't you scared? This is creepy. Shouldn't we just leave? Wait, where's Makoto? She's behind me, shaking like a leaf. Th this is so scary! What happened to all the courage you had five minutes ago? Uh, well... You started this, Makoto! You should be in front, leading the charge! No, 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 no! No way! Take some responsibility! You didn't think it would be this frightening, did you? No... You! Wait. What is it? I... Maybe it's just my imagination, but... Haven't we been here before? Of course. We walk these hallways every day. No, no, I meant... I feel like I've snuck onto campus at night with Makoto and Tsubaki before. What? What on earth are you talking about? Never mind. Sorry, I must be imagining things. What's wrong with me? S see Noelle's so scared she's losing her mind! We should go! Let's turn around! You'd sound more convincing if you weren't cowering behind Tsubaki. You're all hopeless. Very well. I shall take the lead. 
Thank you, Kajun. Thank you so much. Let's start at the third floor, where we saw the light. The stairway. Uh, yeah. They're stairs. These are the same stairs we walk every day, right? <laughs> yeah, we uh, do need to take stairs to get to the third floor, of course. What do you think? Should we count? Are you serious? Isn't that why we're here? To investigate? But that's scary. What if there are 24? Makoto! How about we all climb together and count out loud? That way it won't be as frightening. I guess that might work. One, two, three. Halfway there. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Still only twenty-three. Ha! Ha 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 ha! There, there, we're fine! You got all scared for nothing. I'm pretty sure you were more scared than any of us. All right, everybody, forward march! Move it! <laughs> Do you even know what shame is? Did, did you find something? Is there a monster? Shh. Keep your voice down, Makoto. What's wrong, Kajun? I just remembered. The restroom? Did you want someone to go with you? Please, don't assume I'm like you. I can do just fine on my own, too. Very well, then. We'll wait for you on the third floor. Good. It's me. What's up? I've successfully infiltrated the campus. Good. How's the grimoire reacting? So far, nothing. At least for now. Are you certain there is a grimoire here? As I can be. It was only a small spike, though, and it disappeared almost immediately. Chances are it's not a very powerful one, but we should still find out what's causing these readings. I've been seeing some numbers that look a little like the Azure, Whatever you do, do it with caution. Understood, Professor Kokonoe. <sighs> Apologies for the delay. Have you made any progress? Yeah, we took a look down the hallway, but we didn't find anything. This is where we saw the light though, right? Yes, we all saw it. There's no way we got the location wrong. Maybe security is inside the building now. Damn! If they are, then we'll never figure out the truth behind the mysteries! Yeah, but if they're here, then they could find us. We should leave as soon as we can. Come on, seriously? We're gonna come this far just to give up? What else are we supposed to do? If we get caught, then we'll be in a lot of trouble! We cannot take that risk! Well, yeah, but... You were pretty excited about leaving a few minutes ago. The point is that the longer we stay, the higher our chances of discovery become. We should return to the dorms. Let's head back the way we... Huh? Is something wrong? These are the steps you came up, right, Kajun? Yes, but... Why? Look. A force field? Why? That's impossible! We just went through there! I've had a... feeling for a while now. Um... Almost like we're being watched. It started as soon as we entered the building. Being watched? By who? I'm afraid I don't know. Even if we don't know who it is, it means that someone else is in here with us. It doesn't necessarily, but it does seem likely. What are we gonna do? Do you think we could jump out that window and just run for it? I'm afraid not. 
The force field appears to extend outside the window. Around the entire building, in fact. You're right. When did this happen? Uh, okay. How about if we just break it? That's not going to work either. I've been trying to disarm it, but it won't budge. Th then we're... we're... Yes, we are trapped. No! We should keep looking. We may be able to find a weak spot in the force field somewhere else. You mean the whole building? We'll be here all weekend! That's a good point. We should split up to cover more ground. Can you hear me? There's been a slight complication. Yeah, I see it. Have you seen the force field? Yes. It looks like a standard NOL emergency field. Hmm. Then I doubt you'll be petrified or crushed by gravity, as long as you're inside of it. Since you can still call it out, it looks like its primary function is just to stop material objects. It's probably very resistant to Ars Magus. Could it have been designed to protect the building in case of an emergency? Seems likely. It's probably always been there, but somebody only just now activated it. Question is, who? Then there is someone else here with us. Unfortunately, I can't say either way. I don't have the resolution to tell from where I am. Those grimoire readings are still bothering me. Hmm. Well, if the shit hits the fan, I'll send a squad from... I have to go, Professor. Kajun! Where are you? I'm right here, Mai. Oh, thank goodness. You disappeared. Yes, I thought I saw something, but it was apparently just my imagination. Really? Maybe it was the other person. If they're here, what do you think? At the moment, I can't say. Tsubaki's feeling of us being watched that does concern me, though. Yeah, I haven't felt anything. <gasps> what should I do? I think it's coming this way. Be quiet. We're going to hide underneath the stairs and wait for it to pass. Who's there? Hiding is pointless. Are you all right? My apologies. I thought you were an intruder. Ow! Wait, M Mr. Kisaragi? What are you doing on campus at this hour, sir? You. You're Tsubaki's classmates, correct? I should ask you the same question. You do know the rules. Th that's, um... Oh, don't tell me. Tsubaki's here too, isn't she? Really sorry, we're here investigating the school's seven mysteries. As am I. You broke through the Ars Magus for something so ridiculous? Yes, we're sorry. I apologize. Unbelievable. I assume Tsubaki's usual compatriots are here as well. Yes. Well, what's this for, then? Huh? What are you talking about? This barrier surrounding the building. Surely this was your doing as well. What? It isn't? No, sir. We were under the impression that you would put up the force field. Please. 
Even if I had noticed your little band, you would hardly have warranted activating the emergency barrier. So, this field is part of the school's security system? Yes. It's designed to protect against internal and external threats, and to provide shelter for the students in the event of armed conflict. That explains why it's so strong. Then, wouldn't that mean there was someone else in here who activated it? It would certainly appear so. Huh. <laughs> Just when I thought I'd escaped. Why did this have to happen? What? Never mind, it's none of your concern. I will, however, need your help. I assume there are no objections? Y yes we'll help you, but, uh, with what? I'm not sure if this force field was deployed intentionally or is simply a malfunction, but in either case, it must be disabled. You can do that? It was proving difficult on my own, but with three of us, I suspect we can do it. This should be it. Can you sense the flow of Ars Magus? Yes. It's gathering all of its power to form the axis for the entire barrier. Um... Here. Right here. You're right! I, I can feel it! Most force fields have a number of axes where power is concentrated, such as this one. We need to infuse this point, and that one over there with Ars Magus. What will that do? For this force field, it should temporarily stop the flow of Ars Magus. Exactly. When that happens, I'll push some of the same sort of Ars Magus in its place, neutralizing the force field. It will only give us a split-second window, but that will be all we need. I will escape and call one of the professors. What? But... Once this debacle is resolved, I intend to punish you both, as well as Tsubaki and her friends. As president of the Student Council, it is my responsibility to ensure student safety. There can be no other possible course of action. Okay. Good. Ready? Three, two, one. What is this? My! Huh? <gasps> no! It's not working! Stand back, both of you! This is a trap set for intruders! Tsubaki! Damn it! <laughs> what the hell is this stuff? It won't go away, no matter how hard I punch it! It's immune to Ars Magus, too. Tsubaki, are you okay? They're still there, watching us. I can feel it. Who are you? <laughs> We have to retreat! My, this isn't a good time to freeze up, dear. Maybe, maybe my taste can tell us something. No, don't tell me you're... That's too dangerous! You don't know what... I have to try. Of all the... <sighs> can we beg your help here, Mr. Kisaragi? You have a plan? Please, 
tell me what you're feeling. Is this... Are you okay? What the hell was that light? The, the barrier's gone too! Did you learn anything? Um, yes. You see... Uh, I'm sorry, could you explain that again? I'm not quite sure I understand. It was lonely? What was lonely? The building. What? You're telling me the building got lonely so it trapped us inside? Why? Well, it's a long holiday. Oh, I get it. It's so used to students being around that it was worried about not seeing anyone for three whole days. Exactly. And then we stumbled in here so it tried to keep us. Ugh! I can't believe it. It's only three days. It seriously couldn't handle three little days? If you don't see your best friends for three days, you can get pretty lonely. Well, well, maybe for you. You mean to tell me you don't understand at least a little of that sentiment? Ugh. Well, uh, okay. Maybe I might feel a little bit lonely. Then you understand how the building feels. A little bit? Maybe... When Tsubaki said she felt like we were being watched, that was the building keeping an eye on us. But how did a building develop sentience, and when? That's... hmm... that's a good question. Much as I hate to rain on your parade, are any of you feeling even the slightest bit of remorse? Tsubaki especially. How could you have let this happen? Very disappointing. I know. I... I'm very sorry. Hey! We forced her to come with us. I'm not interested in excuses. You will all suffer equally. Once the holidays are over, you will be responsible for cleaning the entire campus. The... the entire campus? Obviously. It takes care of you every day. I think it's time we showed it some appreciation. Wouldn't you agree? Does we include you? It does. I am just as guilty of breaking the rules as you. I did not expect to be discovered. That reminds me. What were you doing in there anyway? You said something about running away. With everyone gone for the holidays, I thought I might have some peace and quiet in time to myself. But as soon as I said I would be staying behind, that bastard said the same thing and refused to leave my room. Eventually it got to me, so I ran to the campus for some solitude, which is when I encountered you. Then the other person is... Probably searching the dorms frantically as we speak, unaware that I am here. Regardless, we will all be cleaning this building after the break. I suggest you rest up while you can. Jin. All right, to hell with it. If you're going to make us clean the school, we'll get it so clean you can lick it. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Yeah! That concludes my report. Hmm. Good work. I apologize for being unable to find any useful information on the grimoire. Don't worry about it. We already solved that problem. What? What do you mean? Your report had all the information we needed. Once we knew what happened in that building, it was simple. What was it? The Grimoire of Evolution. Evolution? You mean the one we found on the 8th level? Yes. 
Someone at the academy seems to have sealed it away in the school building. Its power must have caused the phenomenon you experienced. It also explains the weak readings I was getting. I see. But who would have sealed it? Who knows? Somebody acting under orders from the NOL, maybe. Or perhaps... Him? I'm doubtful. He wouldn't have any trouble infiltrating the Academy, but this doesn't smell like him. Still, he could be involved, so keep your ear to the ground. Of course. You seem to have gotten pretty comfortable over there. Perhaps. It's not so bad, once you've gotten used to it. Sure. Anyway, I'm hanging up. I've got a mountain of work on my desk. Understood. I'll report in again soon. Over and out. Kajun! Makoto says she just thought up a new game. You want to go check it out? Oh my. What are you up to this time?